Welcome to Simple Investing Secrets, your trusted source for valuable investment insights, stock recommendations, and strategies to help you achieve financial freedom. In today's video, we're diving into a hot topic that's been on everyone's mind, meta stock. Should you be buying, holding, or selling right now? Stay tuned because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what makes meta a potential game changer in your portfolio or a stock to approach with caution. We've got some surprising insights that could completely change how you see this tech giant. So before we start, if you find value in this video, please Please support our channel by liking and subscribing to our weekly updates. Now, let's get started. Meta Platforms Incorporation, ticker Meta, a tech giant that has been making waves in the stock market. As of August 21st, 2024, Meta has caught the eye of many investors, and we want to provide you with a detailed analysis to help you decide if now is the right time to buy, hold, or sell your shares. Let's kick things off with Meta's recent stock performance. Since August 12th, 2024, Meta has been flagged as a potential buy. During this period, the stock has seen a gain of about 3%. 0.72%, which translates to an average daily return of 0.47%. This performance places Meta in the upper segment of a broad but somewhat weak upward trend, suggesting that there could be opportunities for short-term traders to capitalize on fluctuations. For short-term traders, it's crucial to note that while the stock is in a weak upward trend, there's a possibility of it retracing back to the lower end of this trend. However, if Meta breaks through the upper trend line currently around $552.18, we could see an accelerated increase increase in stock price. According to our analysis, over the next three months, there is a potential for a change of about 4.6% in the stock price, with possible returns ranging between 9.93% and 8.05%. Looking further ahead, the 12-month trend suggests a significant potential change of 85.2%, with possible returns ranging between 63.76% and 98.78%. The stock could reach a price as high as $876.79 after a year. This outlook indicates a strong, long long-term growth potential for Meta, driven by its strategic positioning in the tech industry. But before we proceed, here's a question for you. If you could choose just one tech stock to hold for the next 10 years, would it be Meta or another contender? Comment your thoughts below. Now let's explore Meta's market position and why it matters. Meta is currently a dominant player in the technology sector, especially as it leverages its advancements in artificial intelligence and its expansive digital ecosystem, which includes Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Oculus. These platforms Platforms have not only revolutionized social networking but also digital advertising and virtual reality. Meta's robust market position stems from its innovative edge and its ability to adapt quickly to changing market trends. This adaptability is a significant advantage, particularly in the fast-evolving tech landscape, where staying ahead of competitors is vital for sustained growth. One of the key factors supporting Meta's positive outlook is its commitment to driving innovation within the AI sector. As AI continues to expand and integrate into various industries, Meta's position as a leader in this field is likely to attract substantial investor interest. Companies like Meta, which are at the forefront of technological advancements, often enjoy increased support from investors seeking to capitalize on high-growth sectors. However, it's important to weigh these prospects against the current market conditions and the company's challenges. While Meta has shown resilience in recovering from market sell-offs and maintaining double-digit growth expectations, there are also concerns over how it implements artificial intelligence in its advertising services, which has raised some regulatory scrutiny. Speaking of regulations and competition, let's take a closer look at Meta's standing in these areas. Recently, Meta received approval from the United Kingdom's Competition and Markets Authority, CMA, regarding changes to its advertising data practices. This development could alleviate some regulatory pressures that have been weighing on the stock, potentially stabilizing its price further. On the competitive front, Meta is often compared to other tech giants like Amazon and Google. While Meta has been attractive due to its focus on innovation and high-growth areas, competition remains fierce. Investors need to consider how how Meta's growth strategy stacks up against its competitors, particularly in terms of product innovation, market expansion, and regulatory compliance. Now let's shift our focus to what analysts are saying and what the technical indicators reveal. As of the latest reports, analyst ratings for Meta have been mixed. Tigris Financial, for example, assigned Meta a strong buy grade on August 16th, 2024, reflecting confidence in the company's long-term growth potential. On the other hand, Loop Capital Markets issued a buy grade, but with a hold action, indicating a more cautious approach. Similarly, other analysts have varied between neutral and hold ratings, reflecting a general uncertainty about Meta's immediate future. Looking at technical indicators, Meta's stock presents buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages. Let's add to that by looking at the exponential moving average, EMA. The EMA is particularly helpful for spotting trend directions. For instance, if Meta's 20-day EMA crosses above the 50-day EMA, that could signal a bullish trend, meaning it might be a good time to buy. Conversely, if the 20-day EMA falls below the 50-day 
EMA, it could suggest a bearish trend, prompting you to sell or hold off on buying. Another key indicator to watch is the Relative Strength Index, RSI. This momentum oscillator helps identify overbought or oversold conditions. If Meta's RSI climbs above 70, it may indicate that the stock is overbought, suggesting a sell might be wise. On the flip side, an RSI below 30 could mean the stock is oversold, presenting a potential buying opportunity. Don't forget about the moving average convergence divergence, which is excellent for spotting changes in a stock's momentum. If the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it indicates a bullish trend, signaling it might be time to buy. A bearish trend is suggested when the MACD line crosses below the signal line, which could mean it's time to sell. Lastly, consider Bollinger Bands, which can provide insights into the stock's volatility. If Meta's stock price consistently touches the upper band, it may be overbought, while touching the lower band could indicate it's oversold. These signals can help guide your buying and selling decisions. However, some negative signals have also been observed, such as a sell signal triggered from a pivot top on August 15, 2024. This mixed set of signals indicates that while the stock has potential for growth, there are also risks of short-term corrections. Investors should be mindful of these signals as they can impact the stock's short-term movements. It's essential to monitor these trends closely, especially if you are considering a short-term investment in Meta. Next, let's discuss some risks and considerations for potential investors. Like any investment, buying Meta stock comes with risks. The stock's recent movements show an average daily fluctuation of around 2.36%, indicating a medium level of volatility. For investors, this means that while there is potential for gains, there is also a significant risk of losses, especially if the stock does not perform as expected. On the downside, Meta finds support just below the current level at $497.74 and $488.14 based on accumulated volume. If these support levels are breached, the stock could decline further, possibly down to $461.99. For those looking to enter the market, these support levels could serve as strategic entry points, assuming the stock does not break below them. This would help limit potential losses in case of a downturn. It's always a good practice to set stop-loss orders, especially in volatile markets, to protect your investments. Now let's talk about insider activities and what they might mean for the stock. Insider trading activities can also provide valuable insights into a company's outlook. For Meta, recent insider trades have been mixed, with some insiders selling restricted stock units, while others have been purchasing shares. This mixed activity suggests that while there is some confidence in the company's future, there is also caution, likely due to the uncertainties in the broader market. Overall, insider sentiment appears to be slightly negative, with a general insider power ratio of negative 246.81. This indicates that more insiders have been selling rather than buying, which could be a sign of caution or a strategic move to capitalize on recent gains. To sum it all up, our analysis shows that Meta stock has both strong growth potential and some risks to consider. The recent gains and upward trends suggest there are opportunities, but it's crucial to stay cautious given the mixed technical indicators and insider selling activities. The stock's support levels around $497.74 and $488.14 are key points to watch, as any breach could signal further declines. For long-term investors, Meta's potential to reach up to $876.79 in the next year makes it an attractive prospect, but short-term traders should be mindful of the volatility and the need for well-placed stop losses. Keep a close eye on market developments and make sure your investment decisions align with your risk tolerance and financial goals. So after reviewing all this information, what's the final verdict? Should you buy or sell Meta stock? The answer depends largely on your investment horizon and risk tolerance. For long-term investors, Meta's strong positioning in the tech sector and its focus on AI innovation could present an excellent opportunity for growth. The company's ability to adapt and lead in high-growth sectors like artificial intelligence makes it a compelling choice for those looking to invest in the future of technology. However, for short-term traders, the stock's current volatility and mixed technical signals suggest that caution may be warranted. While there is potential for gains, there is also a risk of short-term corrections, especially if the stock does not break through key resistance levels or falls below its support levels. Before we wrap up, here's something to ponder. If you could invest in only one company for the next five years, would you go for a safe bet or a risky high-reward stock? Share your strategy in the comments below. Ultimately, the decision to buy or sell should be based on your individual investment goals and risk appetite. As always, it's crucial to do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Thank you for watching Simple Investing Secrets. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Remember, this video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. Happy investing, and we'll see you in the next video.